of all people here in the Bay Area. It's like a it's like a man on an island when it comes up to the Dallas Cowboys. You see him, you know him. Daryl Guru Johnson, longtime Cowboys fan. Yeah, he got a little love for the 49ers, unless it's Cowboys week. All right, if this yeah, is the yeah. week to get the 49ers by the Cowboys, th this is the week, huh? Yeah, and I'm telling everybody, Vern, because I do have love for the Niners. If they finally lose to the Dallas Cowboys, the mess we are, because we are a mess, that will really let you know, you know what, maybe, Vern, is just not the Niners season. I know you guys are nursing injuries. Uh, it's bad right now. The season's not over. But when I tell you the Dallas Cowboys are a mess, Vern, it's embarrassing. You mentioned blood. My tears are blue and gray because <laughs> it's hard times out here right now being a Cowboy fan. Well, you got Troy Aikman, you know, who's calling out the receivers for the Cowboys. You got Dak Prescott just kind of, you know, decision-making. and that and the, They got a defense, can't stop the run, and they're equally as bad against the pass. I mean, what? They've had a week off to think about it. No doubt about it, but, you know, this is not Andy Reid. It's Mike McCarthy. I, I won't say too much bad about him. My wife is right by me, but I'll just say this, Vern. The rest of the league is playing chess. We're playing checkers. It does not matter. Our big brother of the San Francisco 49ers, I'll be out there with the misses, but this is going to get ugly. And some say the Niners are hurting. Vern, the sad state of affairs being a Cowboy fan is it doesn't matter. We just are not smart. We don't run Chris routes. You mentioned Troy Aikman, the alma mater, you know, the gold standard of being a Cowboy player going in on his team. Vern, this is bad, and the Niners better not lose to the Cowboys because then we'll know there's water on the boat. For as bad as it's been for both teams, and I said it earlier in the show, Cowboys 49ers, I mean, it's, it's a bitter rivalry. I don't care how hurting they are. It's just, it's just something about it that just lights a fire. I'll tell you what, Vern, nobody can take this from me, and you can speak at my funeral and say the guru told you this. Those 90 NFC championship games, they weren't championship games, Vern. They were the Super Bowl because whoever won that game was going on to, get, to beat the AFC opponent, and I'm telling you, that's some of the greatest football and memories I have of being able to attend the NFC Championship game with the likes of Young, Aikman, and then, of course, where it all started, the dynasty. My mama, Daisy, God rest her soul, had lasagna in the stove. We were in Union City getting ready to celebrate, and a guy named Montana hit Clark in the back of the end zone, and a dynasty was started. So shout out to the great Bill Walsh, too, that started all that. We got a few more days before they kick it off on Sunday night. It'll, it'll, it'll be the only game left. Everybody will be watching this one. I'll just leave you with this just to make you feel good. How about them Cowboys? I, <laughs> hey, there you go. I'll bring them back. Let's bring Jimmy back. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, we'll let you go, man. Again, it's it going to be a great one no matter how it shakes out. Thanks so much, Goo. All right. You tell the family hello, Vern.